Welcome to the Vinyl Dance segment on channel 33 RPM. This is where we check out cool music rooms from across the vinyl community and around the world. All right, this first one comes from Jim, and Jim is 55 years old, lives in Virginia, USA, with his wife and his mini dash hound, Easy. Jim writes, I've been a collector of music and audio equipment since I was a teenager. After the COVID lockdown in 2020, I started working from home, which is one of the benefits of working in IT. After realizing that this COVID thing wasn't going away anytime soon, I started working on plans to build a studio in the backyard. Now this, this is really cool. Check this out. I came up with a simple plan and in March of 2021, I ordered the lumber and started the project. In a few months, I had a very usable space and now serves as a gym in the morning, office during the day, and a theater room in the evenings. It's Sounds like the best of all worlds. Initially, I had some mid-90s gear, but after I started having some issues with it, I donated it and I ordered some Emotiva equipment, a Fluence turntable, and I built a 12-inch sealed Dayton subwoofer and a Dayton sub amplifier. I knew I would never have the space to set up a legit home theater and opted for a fairly nice sounding LG soundbar. I've been curious about soundbars myself. Uh, and you're right, it's with wireless rear speakers and a subwoofer. I eventually picked up a pair of matching Emotiva tower speakers to play my concert videos as loud as possible. <laughs> loud is good, man. Loud is good. The built-in shelf units feature drawers that hold a little over 1,200 CDs, and the smaller 12-drawer unit holds all my Blu-ray movies. Awesome. I'm a fan of uh, Blu-rays as well, though my collection is not huge. He says, uh, another setup in the house. Okay, this is a separate setup, which includes a JVC QL Y55F turntable with a Denon moving coil cart and NHT 2.9 speakers. That is a beautiful, beautiful looking turntable. And this is interesting here. It's one of the rare satisfying things about getting older is collecting the things you always wanted but never had the money to purchase. For some, it's hot rods, comic books, Legos, wine, or something else. For me, it was always stereo equipment. I can kind of relate to that, right? There's certain things you just want when you're young and, and you can't get. As Jim, as Jim wrote here, I think that's maybe why many of us of a certain age are back into collecting records. So he writes, uh, currently I collect vintage Pioneer, that includes a Pioneer SA9500 2 amp and a Pioneer PL550 turntable. I love, I love that vintage Pioneer stuff. Now this is awesome, man. This is awesome, particularly that backyard space, a backyard music space. I couldn't get away with that here. The winters are too cold. I guess if it's heated and whatnot. I imagine having that sort of backyard music room, work room, whatever is much easier in Virginia. I mean, this place is clean. It's organized. I love, I love, love, love the look of it. Jim, man, you did a great job. Congratulations on the fantastic space. All right, this next one comes from Gilbert Giroux. He's from Quebec, so I assume it's Gilbert, Gilbert Giroux. He says, I'm 63 years old from the province of Quebec, and I have been collecting for a little over 50 years now. The music room has been like this for the last 12 years. The big beige shelves are designed myself at the beginning of the project. I also have a few more shelves not shown here because they are in another room. The room is in my basement, like many of us, and it's an L-shaped room of about 30 feet long and 13 feet wide at the listing part. It's a good size. He says, I have over 3,000 CDs and 2,000 LPs. It's 80. It is 65% uh, jazz and 35% rock, pop, classical, etc. His gear includes a Riga P324 turntable with a MoFi cartridge and a bunch of other really cool stuff here. This is interesting. He says, buying CDs for me is the best thing that ever happened. Happened. He says he loves the sound in general because there's less noise in the background and now they are really cheap. That is one of the benefits for sure of collecting CDs now. And it's funny because of course like 30 years ago it was the opposite. A CD would be like in 1985 30 bucks and a record would be 8 bucks. And now CDs are cheaper though I have noticed the price of compact discs is creeping up. Let's take a closer look again at some of these picks. Look at that wall of CDs, man. Look at that wall of CDs. I'd be kind of curious to see how he organizes his CDs by genre, alphabetically, how it's all done. Because otherwise with a collection like that, it would certainly be hard to find the disc 
you are after. Anyway, another killer, killer music space. Congratulations, Gilbert. I love it, man. This next one comes from Angel Ruiz. Here I time. My name is Angel. I'm 52 years old. I live in Davenport, Florida. I've been collecting music since the summer of 1986. I started out purchasing cassettes and some vinyl, but mostly cassette tapes since they were more portable at the time and I could listen to them anywhere on my Sony Walkman. Then CDs came along and I sold my collection to purchase CDs. Later in my 30s, I stopped collecting music altogether. Hey, that's that happens and focus mainly on collecting movies. Uh, what else does he say here? He says in 2019 I learned that vinyl records were making a comeback and I quickly went back to collecting music. Angel writes his uh, audio gear includes four turntables but he only uses one at the moment. The main goal someday is to own a Technics or a Technics, depending on where you are in the world, a Technics 1200. I love my 1200s, my main turntable. I use it all the time. A lot of people say the 1200s are not appropriate for hi-fi. I say they're, they are awesome for hi-fi, man. It's a monster. I don't think I'll ever need another turntable. Other gear includes Marantz PM5005 integrated amp, Marantz CD5005 CD player, a Marantz network player, and a TAC tape deck. The Marantz stuff, man, I love the modern era Marantz stuff. My integrated amp is a PM6004, and my CD player is a 6004. I love them both. Awesome, awesome gear. Highly recommended. Yeah, in terms of his music room, he says, my music room is the first room in the front of the house. It's the smallest room in the entire house because it is supposed to be like a small office. I have a pair of modded arcade one-ups to have that 80s vibe when I'm listening to classic 80s tunes. So I have a few framed pictures, album cover art, and posters signed by the artist. I've been super curious about those one-up arcade machines. I've played them in the store before. They seem pretty cool. I love classic gaming. I have an arcade machine here in the basement as well. It's an old 1980s cabinet converted to have 60 games. Awesome, man. I love all that old school gaming. Thanks for sharing this, man. That room is the kind of room I'd love to hang out in. You've done well, man. You've done well. If you want to submit your music space for consideration for a future episode of Vinyl Dens, I will leave instructions below this video. Check it out. Everything you need to know is there. And if you have sent me a Vinyl Dens submission for inclusion in this segment, I have a backlog of some I still have to go through. So if I haven't shown yours yet, have patience. I will try to get to as many as I can very soon. This one comes from Chris. He says, I am Chris Erion, Ear Erion, Chris Erion from Fargo, North Dakota. Very familiar with Fargo. I've been there a million times. It's about three hours from here. He says, I'm 39 and have been collecting CDs since 1997 and vinyl since 2016. This is cool. I repurposed, he says, I repurposed my grandma's non-working 1951 Philco. Check this out. It has a 1977 Techniques SL2000 turntable mounted on to the original slide tray. There's also a little bear T7 preamp and new old stock World War II era tubes. That must be hard to come by nowadays. It's got a gem tune amp and Pioneer two-way speakers. Chris writes he also collects movies and he has about 400 DVDs and 150 Blu-rays and the large DVD shelving is huge, is homemade. Cool, man, I dig it. This one comes from Dylan. He says, I'm 24 and have been a serious collector for eight years, but I bought my first record when I was seven from a garage sale. It was Billy Joel, 52nd Street. Uh, Dylan writes, me and my wife just bought our first home in Boise, Idaho in the USA and a priority for me was to have a space for a listening room. The room is 11 by 14 and was an open front room. The same day, check this out, the same day we closed on the home, I ripped out the carpet and installed vinyl flooring and I built a wall to close off the room. Man with priorities, I like it. That's exactly what he wants. He says his system is composed of a Fluence RT82 turntable, which he dedicated to mono, and he has a MoFi studio deck with a gold Grotto cartridge for stereo. He's got a Pioneer amp and a Spec1 receiver, and his speakers are Magnapan Point Sevens. It's hard to tell in this photo, but those Magnapans are, are really wild. They're these really thin speakers, and this is a company that is based out of Minnesota. He says in the room he also has a pull-down projector screen that he has hooked up to his Xbox for movies and games. Again, talking a lot of these rooms 
I also serve as movie rooms, home theaters. I got mine in the next room as well. He says his vinyl collection is modest, but no filler. Some of his most prized records are his 13th Floor Elevators, First Pressing in Mono, King, King Crimson Original Mass Recording, Metallica Kill em All Megaforce, and his Bad Religion Collection. The back of my room has a mini bar full of all my Guinness needs. I love this, Dylan. You are a man with his priorities set straight. And check this out. This is uh, Kane. He says, my name is Kane. I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm 25 years old and I started collecting records at 18 years old. Since then, I've expanded to collecting almost any physical media I can get my hands on, but my main passion is still with records. He says all his equipment is from the Sony ES line in the 90s, except for his record player and the Moon DAC connected to his CD player. His main record player is a Sony PS. X7 from 1979, very nice turntable. Since I recently got the poster from your shop framed and it hang it above the setup. Go Cowboys. Kane, thank you for supporting the Channel 33 RPM merch store. I do love that poster. I have one on my wall as well. All right, 33ers, if you dug this episode of Vinyl Downs, I'm leaving a playlist here with past episodes. You should check it out. If you want to submit your music room for consideration for a future episode of Vinyl Downs, all the details are below this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Till then, keep on spinning.